Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to Siphon Filter. Now the last episode was pretty rough, and I guarantee this level is going to be even rougher, because Farcom Elite Guards, that means that every single opponent that I'm going to be facing in this level is going to have a flak jacket. But, the good news is, I have the Biz-12. The Biz-12 is such a powerful weapon because it shoots so fast that it can actually, pe it can actually wear down a flak jacket within seconds. Kind of like a shotgun. Now, let's get on with it, shall we? At least now I know what to do. Incoming from Leon. I still can't contact Markinson, but I've hacked into the agency's European computer system. Bad news. You're probably going up against Farcom's elite guards, extremely well trained and armed. Even Romer's men haven't broken through their perimeter yet. Avoid any direct firefights if you can. Warehouse 76 should be south of your present position. Where the hell is our agency backup? NATO thinks a civil war is breaking out, but we're getting no support. Leon, I found shipping manifest for parts having something to do with R9 Devyaka. Do you have anything on that? Checking. The R9 Deviaka is a two-stage liquid-propelled rocket with a range of 12,500 kilometers. It carries a 5-megaton payload, but it says here that Russia retired it in 1977. Check and make sure the silo site is abandoned. It looks like Fagan was planning something bigger than we thought. I don't get what Fagan was planning, because yeah. it might seem... Any luck contacting Markinson? No. In fact, I can't raise anyone back at European Command. Because it would seem that basically Fagan, he's a pharmaceutical guy. He create a virus, then basically market, patent the vaccine, make a fortune. What the hell does he need a nuclear missile for? I have a feeling that Ro. I have a feeling that Romer might have been playing him. Now, if I can just remember what to do. I love it. I just started recording, and <laughs> I went do not disturb on Discord, and immediately the person that I friggin' set myself to do not disturb to basically like, uh, so that he wouldn't call me during the recording session, he suddenly logs onto Discord, and he's like, hey, uh, I just got on Discord, I see that you're on do not disturb, what's going on? Sloppy. Right now I'm using my PK-20102 because, like, the biz? I mean, I got plenty- I got ammo for the biz, but I don't want to friggin' burn through it too quickly. Although, I do have a lot of ammo for the biz. Maybe I could- maybe I could give him the business. <laughs> give him the business! Kentucky Fried Chicken in a Pizza Hut. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Maybe I'm just hungry. Ow. Right. Now the intention is that you go around this warehouse, go out there, and basically face the guys that are out there waiting to ambush you from inside the warehouse. But there's always these boxes. Climb, Logan. You get the drop on them. However, instead of going through, go up to the roof. Ah. This is a well-hidden secret, and it's also the way that you kind of get around to the second half of this level. The half that I'm not looking forward to. Because as long as I'm on this side, I can still control a lot of the situation. Alright. Did I just walk on air? You saw Gabriel Logan walking on air. Believe it or not, Gabe's walking on air. Do you mean he puts on airs? That's just fancy talk. 
That guy had a biz. No wonder he killed me so fast. There's a guy up in that window, but we're going to basically uh, avoid him for now. Yep, there are those two guys. <laughs> Here you go. Flambe. <laughs> Well, that's one way to defuse an explosive situation. Where's the fence? There's the fence. This is actually quite clever, because there's a guy behind the fence, but that sign is blocking me from getting a headshot. So, oh, what, what? I think he turned just the right way. Anyway, just take out his legs. Hit his femoral artery. Bleed to death. Anyway... Here's something fun. You get on these crates, you jump up to this rooftop, you come all the way over here. I'm just going to be extra cautious because I know that once I touch down, there's going to be an ambush for me. The problem with some of these guys is that they don't stay put. They actually come towards you, so even when you run for cover, they'll still move towards you. It's hard to get a headshot. Anyway, I just got picked up some more M79 grenades, incendiary grenades, and now we'll move into this warehouse. And it's time for one of the things that I really didn't, don't like about this level as well as its predecessor. Step number one. Moonwalk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just Leon Zing is not my lover. She's just a girl. Be prepared for them. And here's where I can find another Biz 2. Awesome. Got basically 80 rounds of ammo. Anyway, you come back through here. You see this pile of crates right here? I don't like it. Because that can happen. Game, you can't fool me again. I, I swear to God, I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, because these crates look like the types that you climb on, right? But... You come at the right spot, and boom! How the heck are you supposed to know that these crates are... Well, maybe the argument can be made that you're just planting... You're not planting tags on specific boxes. You're tagging warehouses that have, like, lots of boxes. But then... I just don't know, people. I don't know anymore. I just work here. Right, let's head back to that roof. Over the rooftop, over the rooftop, step in time, over the rooftop, step in time, never any reason, never any rhyme, over the rooftop, step in time. Right. Grenades.
Oh. Come on out, you bastards. You see these crates right here? Dang it. I should have waited. Spiral carrier. Your beacons are transmitting, and a CBDC team's been dispatched to clean up. But their ETA is at least two hours. You're still on your own down there. Because as soon as I step out into the light, I'm going to have a reception from out that tunnel. Where are they? I mean, I know that there's one guy down there, but there were supposed to be two guys. Eyebrows. There should be two. See? I didn't get a headshot on him, but the B-12 cut him down. Now, I don't like this part because this tunnel is going to be like... A seemingly endless stream of these guys. But fortunately, we've got this. <laughs> Dang it. And the worst part about it is, the tunnel now branches into two directions. And you got guys coming from both sides. The tunnel that breaks off to the right has, like, some, I think some goodies, but it ultimately leads to a dead end. You gotta take the tangent to the left. But fortunately, I think that they only send two guys this way, so... Dang it. You will come back here. Now. <laughs> this could be a game break, a run breaking mistake, folks. We've got a saying here East is best, West is worst. Southwest? We could talk about that later. <laughs> Alright, I've made it. Now, all I need to do is basically run past six large oil, like, a uh, gas canis tank canister storage container things, while about four guys up on a couple of rooftops hurl grenades at me. Run, Logan! Run! Gabe, that's Warehouse 76. The entrance to the silo is in there somewhere. But they're throwing off explosives. 
Yes. Plot relevant. Explosives explode. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I got through that as quickly and promptly as I did. So, <laughs> and that's the thing. Once you know what you're doing in these in this game, these levels are a piece of cake. You just gotta basically be prepared, you know. But that's what I kind of dislike. Uh, the, the trial and error of it is a bit... I don't know. So, anyways. That is all the time that we have for this video. If you liked it, please comment. Do all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.